Today is February 18th, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 40. Uh, today I want to talk about ICX and why I feel like it is a good purchase right now to make some quick gains or maybe future long gains. So before we do that, let's go ahead and I want to just showcase to you guys right now. I own ICX and I bought ICX roughly at where is it? Do, do, do. Icon project. I bought it at eight dollars and thirty six cents. So just for transparency purposes, I have bought ICX on a pretty much a high. Actually, I bought it a little bit less than that. It's just when I posted it into the website, it posted at eight dollars and thirty six cents. But regardless of that, let me go ahead and explain the situation why you guys should buy ICX. And I'm trying to be transparent about this. I'm holding ICX no matter what, guys. So let me throw that out there. Okay. So. The first reason why I want to go over this, and I did a video about this previously, a couple, like maybe a month ago, but I wanted to reinforce this idea, is that Koreans love Korean products. And I can't state that enough. When you go to Korea, you see nothing but Hyundai and Samsung. Like, they just own nothing but Korean products. They use their own products all the time, and they believe Korean products are the best. Okay? And... It's been like that for a very long time. I remember, back, I remember back in 2001, I mean, I couldn't see any other car than a Hyundai. And when I saw Honda Accord, actually it was 1999, um, I was shocked and amazed that I saw Honda Accord. And it was like all riced out Honda Accord. I'm like, whoa. But in Korea, there's no other cars at that time in 1999. Now, things have changed a little bit since then. But still, as of today... Koreans love their own products. I mean, here's a, I mean, I was looking at some websites and look, looking for statistical information, but let me just give you an idea of the highway. Korean car, Korean car, Korean car. That looks like a Volkswagen, right? It could be Hyundai too, but Hyundai, 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 Hyundai. I can't see any logos from here, but we know Hyundai, Hyundai. That I don't know, but based upon that, you could say 50% or more cars in this picture alone are Hyundai. Okay, I'm assuming because I just don't know logos that well and we can't see the pictures here, that more than 50% of the cars out there are Korean made. All right, it's just how the culture is, guys. So for people out there, as you know, um, from Americans and Canadians and all these um, Great Britain, to know, understand the Korean culture, they really invest in their own products. Okay, they buy the crap out of their own stuff. Okay, so I just want to say that first, right? And then let's talk about uh, point number uh, two. Okay, I'm going to move this to point number two. Twenty-five percent or more of the crypto market is in Korea. The volume-wise, anyways, uh, and I think it might be even thirty percent of the market in Korea. I mean, there's an article that was posted. I believe here it is. Uh, South Korea, the world's largest market for Bitcoin. So it's no wonder uh, three out of 10 salary workers in Korea have invested in cryptocurrencies, according to a recent study in Korea. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, let's scroll down just a little bit here. Um, third largest market in the Bitcoin trading. Wow. You know, be, uh, behind Japan and USA. But still, that's a significant amount of investors in Korea. I mean, Korea is a big time investor in cryptocurrency. Okay. So then let's, let's go on to another point. Um, it's on sale. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It's on sale right now. It has went down 50%. Like that's a massive dip from what one of the peak actually from 0 0.009. It's all the way down now to 0 0.0045. That's a 50% cut right there, guys. It, that's a 50% sale. Um, I think if it drops to about 0.004, it's the lowest it will ever go. This is when BTC was, I think, at the lowest point ever. So uh, the chance that will go this low again is, I think, pretty tough to reach. But if you did want to buy, you could wait it to dip a little bit further. But I feel like it's a good time now. Okay, that's my take on it, and I feel pretty bullish about ICX right now. All right, long term, I feel really bullish, but regarding just the short term. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain everything here in a second. Uh, the chain ID, all right? The chain ID is identification in Korea. 
um, in Korea, the identification, your social security number is used in more places than ever, everywhere. I mean, I believe there's a game called Silent Strike. Um, it's a Korean version of Counter-Strike, and I could not personally play it because I didn't have a Korean social security number. Now, I'm, I am born in Korea, but I'm a U.S. citizen, so I don't have that number. Um, yeah. So, I, the fact of the matter that this identification number is used everywhere. I remember my dad, he needed this number to watch streams uh, on the Korean website, like uh, uh, the Korean KBS. To watch videos on KBS, he had to use his Korean identification number. So, if... Icon is going to be the replacement of the Korean identification number. I mean, there's some articles about this. Um, Icon Korea's online baking security gets the upgrade in almost 20 years. This is talking about how the chain ID, a blockchain identification service that will allow customers to use the same certificate across 25 banks, blah, 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 blah. This is a big deal. Um, here's another aspect. Uh, this is a Reddit a post about I know the Loop Icon company worked on the chain ID experiment with banks to use the blockchain for Kong Yin Jung replacement. This means Korean, Korean, South Koreans digital certificates for banks and authentication will be shifting to Icon ICX blockchain. Boom! Based upon this information alone, I feel like Icon is here to stay for a very long time. All right, just purely on this information that if Korean people have to use the chain ID as the identification purpose for the rest of Korea I mean that's a huge big big deal um, go ahead and let's talk about the partnerships in Korea and uh, this is actually here real quick biometrics on the um, chain ID this is actually new uh, having biometrics on chain IDs is, is another awesome thing but just in general it's already big we don't need to hype it up any more than it already is now. Uh, let's go to the partnerships. This is the partnerships that ICX has. Now, this information has been around a long time and it's still dead. So it's not helping us too much. Even the chain ID information has been around for a long time and has dipped. So those are two topics that are, you know, um, it's not really that helpful, but it still gives you a perspective on things because this is old news, all right? But the big, big thing right now is this right here. ICX has no Korean pair. Okay, just if we just talk about point number one and point number two and really point number five or point number four here is on sale and you buy it now. This here is why it's going to blow up. ICX has no Korean pair. When you think about Koreans and how they're going to invest in their own products, I'm, I'm a Korean, I invested in ICX. And sort of this concept here, ICX has no Korean pair. As soon as they have an option to buy their own product, their own Korean-based blockchain, trust me, they're going to buy the crap out of it, okay, guys? I mean, it's, it's inevitable, okay? So what could be a possible strategy for you guys? You buy it now for 4 bucks. All right. As soon as it has the Korean uh, exchanges that has a direct fee up um, tie, a pair to ICX, I'm assuming seven bucks. Okay, seven dollars USD. That is still a massive gain. That's three. That's that's almost a hundred percent. Well, not hundred percent, but you get the idea. That's a huge, massive gain. You're looking at seventy percent returns. That's where I'm leaning towards, guys. You sell here. Okay, you don't even hit my eight dollar mark that you saw in my portfolio. I'm I'm trying to be as transparent here as possible. You sell at the seven dollar mark. I'm bullish. I'm going all the way to the end of the year in December of 2018, right? So I'm thinking fifty. I'm thinking a hundred dollars. All right. Uh, I'm I'm thinking ten x from here. I mean, maybe not ten x, but at least five x. I think five x is a really safe number. If BTC hits twenty, uh, it goes back to up to twenty k. Oh well, uh, yeah, no problem. No, no problem on the fact of fifty dollars. If BTC hits like thirty thousand, if if you guys are predicting BTC to hit thirty or forty thousand, I could easily see I Icon hitting a hundred dollars. Okay, so if you want to play that card, uh, that's I don't predict BTC to hit that high at the end of the year. If it does, great, I'm super happy. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe, thumbs up, and tell me what you think about Icon and if you should invest or not. All right, thanks, bye.